So we're gonna begin today by learning as a maker how to use plastic fusing to make things. So before we get to that point, I wanna talk a little bit about safety. When we're being a maker, we want to make sure that we have an adult around or we talk to adults before we use some of the tools and equipment. We wanna ask for permission and make sure that this is in a safe environment to use these things. Let's begin by talking about the materials we're gonna use for our plastic fusing. We're going to use an iron, scissors. We're going to use various plastics. These are all plastics that have come from bags. There's some bubble wrap in here too. And we're going to use an ironing board. If you don't have an ironing board, you could certainly use a towel. And the last piece of equipment that we need is parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, you could use a paper bag. Parchment paper is something that we use in baking, so you may be able to find that in your baking supplies in your house. So as we get started, let me talk a little bit about the iron and the safety that we need to think about with our iron. It's not plugged in right now, so it is not hot. But the important thing to think about is this piece right here. This is the sole plate. And when the iron is plugged in, the sole plate can get very, very hot. So when it's hot, we don't want to touch it with our skin or anything that could burn or melt. It's very important. We want to have an adult around to make sure that we're using this iron in a safe manner. When it's plugged in and hot, but we're not using it, we want to safely stand it up somewhere so that we don't accidentally touch it. So there's a heel rest right here, and we can set our iron like that so that the sole plate is not interfacing with the materials that we're working with. I'm gonna plug in the iron now so it can start getting hot as we move forward. Next, we're gonna talk about the plastic that we have. So I have a variety of plastic pieces here from different types of bags, things like bubble wrap, you might have bags from the grocery store, a clothing store, or even a bread bag. And we can look at those plastics in new ways. We might think about colors. We might think about textures. We might think about the thickness of the bag. Or we might look for certain letters or words that we like on the bag. Um, we might look for characters like Clifford. And we can use these plastics now to create a textile that we can make and create things with. 